Welcome to Parks Wildlife. I hope you're ready because this expansion includes more parks, more trail sites, more canteens, more gear, more seasons, and of course, more wildlife. But if all of that sounds overwhelming, don't worry. We're here to guide you through all the details to get you started hiking to new heights in no time. Yes, we. Well, it's called Parks Wildlife, not Parks Ranger Life. I hope you all learned your lines. While they're off doing that, let's take a look at the new Parks cards. The Parks cards with art from the iconic Wildlife series have a new requirement to visit them, a wildlife token. That's how you know the animals are the stars, even if they didn't learn their lines. Some of the new Parks also have instant actions. These activate as soon as you visit a Park. If you don't take the action then, you won't be able to take it later. These actions include visiting or reserving an additional park, gaining a canteen, or gaining a wildlife token. Shuffle the new parks cards in with the parks cards from the base game and place them on the board here, revealing three as normal. I hope you dressed in layers because Parks Wildlife is giving you more seasons with all new cards to add to your game. Oh, thank you. Shuffle these new cards in with the base game and place them on the board here. Your season deck is ready to go. You also have more gear cards, which come with instant actions. When you purchase gear that has an instant action, it activates immediately, which is why they call it an instant action and not a sometime later action. For example, when you purchase this gear, you may immediately spend a water resource to take a picture. As in the base game, if you have the camera, you can take a picture for one token instead of two. In this example, you still pay just one token, but the camera ability allows you to pay any resource instead of having to pay water. To set up the gear deck, we'll shuffle the new cards right in with the gear cards from the base game. Thank you. And place them on the board here. Time on the trail can make you thirsty, which is why you've now got more canteen cards. Shuffle the canteen cards in with the base game cards and deal two to each player. Choose one canteen to keep, placing it face up in front of you. Discard the other canteen to the bottom of the deck. From now on, whenever you gain a canteen, you'll take two cards, choosing one to keep. You now deal two year cards to every player instead of just one. If you're also playing with the Nightfall expansion, make sure you're using the Nightfall year cards. Take a look at your two year cards, choosing one to keep and placing the other at the bottom of the deck. Your year card goes face down in front of you. It's a secret. Hey, no peeking. Instead of taking a gander at your opponent's cards, let's take a look at the new trail sites. This trail site lets you activate one of your filled canteens. This trail site lets you turn in one of your photos to gain one of each resource. This trail site lets all other players gain a sun while you take the action of an open trail site without a hiker. And this trail site lets you turn in a wildlife token to gain two suns and two waters. To set up the new sites, find the Parks Gear Advanced site from the base game. When you're playing Parks Wildlife, this site will always be your Season 1 Advanced Trail Site. Now you'll take all the other Advanced Trail Sites from Wildlife and shuffle them in with the Advanced Sites from the base game. Place three face down next to the trailhead. One of these will be added to the trail each of the following seasons in the game. The rest can go back in the box. Maybe you'll see them in your next game. Ooh, variety. It's the spice of hikes. What do you mean that's not the same? <laughs> Haven't you read this sign? Luckily, this sign is just about food and not about their egos, because this expansion is all about the wildlife. You can now welcome the duck, the mouse, the butterfly, and the squirrel into your family of wildlife tokens. When setting up, give every player one wildlife token to start the game with. I also recommend you play with the wild love variant. I said don't feed the animals. I wonder if there's a fork on this. 
In the Wild Love variant, one wildlife token can equal two of the brown any token symbol. So you could visit Indiana Dunes National Park for two water and one wildlife token. You learned your line. And that line is my cue to tell you about the most exciting part of Parks Wildlife, Barry the Bison. Have you been in there the whole time? Try not to trample anything. The last new step in setup is placing the bison on the top of the leftmost park card on the board. Whenever you visit a park with a bison sighting, you may trade one of any resource for a wildlife token. This can be done before or after visiting the park, and if it's done before, you may use that token to pay for your park visit. Once Barry's been spotted, the bison moves to a new park. There are lots of places to see and be seen. Move the bison one park to the right, even if you chose not to activate the bison wildlife action immediately replace the visited park, just like in the base game. If you still have instant or gear actions left, you can continue to use them. They may even let you visit the bison's new park. Barry does love having an entourage. Barry also wants the opportunity to be seen by everyone, which means that the park that the bison meeple is on can never be reserved, only visited. The other parks can be reserved as normal. Once the bison moves off the rightmost available park, move it back to the leftmost park. The active player will now choose one gear card to discard to the bottom of the deck and replace it with a new one. Barry is handsome but clumsy, and sometimes gear just gets underfoot. And if trampled gear gets you excited, you can play with the stampede variant. Instead of discarding and replacing just one gear card when the bison returns to the leftmost park, discard and replace all three available gear cards. My heart's racing just thinking about it. Luckily, the best thing to calm me down is a nice hike, which we're all ready to go on now, because that's everything you need to know to start playing with Parks Wildlife. Enjoy your new animal friends and remember to admire them from a distance and never ask for their autograph. They can't write. Enjoy your hike.